All right, guys. How's it going? Awesome soul here. And today I am kicking off the first in what's going to be a multi-part series, covering the different movement methods within Robocraft and how they interact with other movement methods as well as the weapon types. Now this series is mostly for newer players or novice players that are sort of thinking of bot ideas and need some inspiration and you're sort of wondering what goes well with certain things. So, today's episode, I will be covering wheels and cruisers. So, uh, for the overall category, uh, pros would be, they're quite fast, usually clocking in at around 100 speed, or 100 miles per hour, rather. Uh, they have a relatively low CPU cost, when compared to uh, the beefier things, such as legs or trucks. Um, and also, they are the cheapest cost-wise of all of the main movement methods. However, for the cons, we have they have the lowest armor type out of all the main movement types. Uh, they have little to no grip factor, making it hard to maneuver over rough terrain. So. Uh, tank tracks or legs have a lot of grip, allowing them to get up um, steeper surfaces, and they won't be flipping over as much. So yeah, that goes into the next thing. They are prone to tipping while turning at high speeds, especially uh, at uh, lower tiers, where you have one, lower uh, CPU constraints, assuming you're uh, a newer player. As well, uh, the blocks in that tier also have a uh, lower weight. To them, and therefore you're gonna need to be aware because you're not quite as heavy. Next up, uh, I will be detailing the uh, SMG in um, how they fit with uh, wheels. Anyways, uh, so for pros, we have their uh, heavily armored cruisers, such as land ships. Uh, if you don't know what a land ship is, I will link that in the description. There's a rather large and insanely popular <laughs> thread about that. I believe it has like 79 pages, last I checked. Anyways, um, so yeah, heavily armored uh, cruisers, uh, such as land ship style bots, uh, can charge headlong, headlong rather, uh, and surprise unprepared enemies. It, and obviously, high armor means you can go in without too much of a uh, risk factor, however you're obviously going to need to account for some risks and getting flanked by other enemies. Um, next up, it can use its speed to pull off pretty great uh, hit and run tactics. Uh, also, although, well, hovers could do it better and usually can, but I guess that's for another video. Anyways, uh, so, also they're very stable while standing still, making it easier to uh, land hits at long, longer ranges, which is something that's a little harder to do now that uh, SMGs have been changed a little bit, but the fact that they're stable when not moving is a definite plus it has over uh, ours. As for cons with SMGs, it's not quite as maneuverable as some of the other movement methods. Hover, as I stated before. Uh, making your options for ducking in and out of cover rather limited. Uh, next up, wheels are fairly fragile, and they need to be well protected in order, yeah, in, in order rather, to uh, survive close quarters. That goes back to the whole uh, land ship thing I was talking about. You don't necessarily need to make a land ship, because that's incredibly expensive. And obviously newer players won't have the resources to do that. But some, some armoring around the wheels is definitely recommended. Uh, anyways, moving on to plasma. Um, the wheels are fast enough to get in and out of uh, a good position early into the game and surprise enemies who would sort of not necessarily rec uh, realize that you might be there already. 
as well. Uh, wheels also allow for some rather low-profile designs, making it easier to hide behind uh, rocks or barriers. Uh, cons, again, they're not quite as maneuverable as some of the other movement methods, uh, making your opinions, oh, opinions, options for uh, ducking in and out of cover limited again. Rails, uh, again, stated with uh, SMGs, they're very stable while uh, standing still, especially when missing parts. See, when you're missing, say, a leg, for example, the legs tend to twitch out and try and auto-correct their balance, making your aim a little wobbly, assuming you're missing legs. Uh, yeah, so, rails, that accounts for uh, pretty good aiming when it comes to wheels. Uh, obviously, like con for the cons, um, there are many other movement methods that could get into position much easier, as uh, stated before. Legs, uh, tracks, they have much more traction and can climb up uh, surfaces a little bit easier than wheels. Get into positions that they normally couldn't. Uh, next up, nanos. Um, so for the pros, uh, you can stay low and hidden in the back lines fairly easily due to the fact that you can make some rather low profile designs. Uh, and they're also fast enough to get around a group rather quickly. So if you have a group of allies, obviously you want to go from like one side of the group to the other. Uh, cons. Again, this comes up quite a bit, but they're not quite as maneuverable as some of the other things, or movement methods other, and they can't get off to far off allies quite as easily. So if you have some, like a group of two people panicking, you can much easier get, easily get over there um, with, say, a hover or a, uh, a flyer, for example. And we have Teslas next. So for pros, uh, you can easily tear apart tanks and other cruisers, um, obviously because you can outspeed a tank. And some cruisers are, well obviously all cruisers are low to the ground. Uh, however, uh, they're rather useless against hovers and for, well, the fact that they're off the ground, that your blades can't uh, hit them. And walkers, simply because they can easily jump over your bot. And obviously, you're gonna have no chance against a flyer. But I didn't really need to throw that in there now, did I? Alright, so next up, I'm gonna be covering the uh, movement complements, as I'm calling them, or simply how they add to the functionality of wheels. So, other movement methods adding to the functionality of wheels and what they can sort of bring to the table if you want to make a, a combo bot, basically. So first off, hovers. They don't really add much to wheels, because essentially you're just turning your bot into a hovercraft. Tracks. Again, it doesn't really add much to the wheels themselves, other than just slowing your bot and obviously turning it into a bulkier, slower tank. Uh, now for legs, you can hold space to retract your legs and move along the ground faster than, say, simply walking. Although, it's not a whole lot faster. Anyways, uh, wings makes it for uh, easier land landing and takeoff, much like a real plane, plus it looks pretty cool. You gotta admit. Uh, thrusters, finally. Uh, it's a good idea to place thrusters facing upwards, and holding shift will make it easier to take corners. Uh, obviously at lower tiers, since your bot is a lot lighter, you're gonna need that uh, downward thrust. Not downward thrust, but like the thrusters are pointing up, so the jet is facing up to the sky. So forcing your bot down, obviously your wheels are essentially gripping the ground, in this case. So that covers all of the main movement methods. 
Uh, as for final thoughts, um, it's my opinion, as well as the opinion of quite a lot of community members, that wheels are rather basic. Um, move method. They're for people who want something simple with no bells and whistles. If you want to just charge head on into the enemy and sort of pull out, come back out and attack them and sort of pull back out and get healed or whatever, that's it. There's no fancy wall crawling, there's no added grip factor, there's no um, increased height or ducking. They're just very simple and generally outclassed. However, there are a lot of people that make this work, and good for them. If you love wheels, that's great, all the more power to you. It's just a lot of other movement methods can do a lot more than wheels, generally speaking at least. Although wheels are more of like a, a jack of all trades, master of none type of thing. Anyways. This has been my uh, video covering wheels. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, there's obviously more uh, coming in the future. I'll be definitely covering every uh, movement method in the game currently, as well as uh, future movement methods. So uh, subscribe for that, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and only if you enjoyed the video. I've been the Awesome Soul, and I will see you next time.